Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. And I would like to invite you to go to my prophecy site if this is the first time that you've come to my YouTube channel. And once you go to my prophecy site, just scroll down and you'll see a link right here. Uh, January the 2nd, 2012. This is my newest updated book. And when you click the link, you'll be able to download the book for free. No... Uh, nothing attached to it, I'm not going to ask you for anything whatsoever. I allow the Holy Spirit to help me to get the book out to everyone that wants one. Now, if you go into my book, you, in the chapter 3 of my book, uh, you're going to see right here, chapter 3, a gener generation of knowledge. And this is the prophecy that God gave to Daniel in chapter 12, verse 4, telling Daniel and showing Daniel that there would be a generation of people who would be known for two things. And here they are. It says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even till the time of the end. In other words, God is showing Daniel that people are not going to understand and this prophecy will not be fulfilled until the last generation, that generation who saw, uh, who would actually see the second coming of Jesus Christ. And so what are the two things? He said, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And uh, throughout my book, I give you all kinds of evidence, documents, and proof that shows that our generation is definitely the generation chosen. Now, as our generation has been chosen, uh, to fulfill this prophecy, not everything that this generation is doing is is godly. And I'm going to show you some examples of this, and I'm going to show you some examples of how uh, this increase of knowledge has taken place in our generation. I'm going to start off with this article that came out from the Mail Online. Uh, and this article has to do with uh, scientists, and I believe, again, that are in the uh, the mode of playing God, if you will. And if you'll see here, it says, Meet the uh, chimeric monkeys made from uh, the cells of six different animals. Monkeys created from genetic material from six animals will help research into stem cells and fertility. Science says they're always giving these reasons why they, you know, doing things or trying to create life like God created in the beginning. And so here is this little monkey that they have created and they've taken, as you can see here, it says they may look like any other baby monkeys, but these two are scientific breakthroughs. The rock school and hex are the world's first uh, chimeric monkeys created with genetic material from six parents. Their birth has caused an ethical storm with uh, crisis uh, assuring scientists of disregarding the welfare of the animals. So, you know, this, this generation could only be the generation who could do things like this, and primarily based, because we can do things like this, the advancement of computers uh, has really uh, surged this generation and propelled this generation to fulfill the Daniel 12.4 prophecy. So only God knows what's going to happen to these little creatures when they get older, if there's going to have any side effects. But there's one example of our generation uh, with the increased knowledge. Now there, I'm going to go to another article. And by the way, if you go to my website, you will have uh, the article links there so you can go and read the entire article. It's pretty long as well as the other articles that I'll be giving you today. Now here's another one. Again, scientists. Here we go. It says, Welcome to the brave new world. Genetic scientists create the freakish man-made monster ants with huge head and jaws. Now, I don't, what would be the purpose of uh, creating such a, a creature? Well, and this is what it looks like. And here's a picture of a regular ant and uh, this is the picture of this genetic uh, altered ant. And as it says in the article, a super 
soldier next to the, a normal ant, scientists say that they can create the super soldiers at will by dabbling normal ant larvae with the special hormone. The larva then developed into super soldiers rather than normal soldier or working ants. Now, only God knows, as I said, why they would do these things. I mean, maybe they, maybe they have in the future of altering people so that they become super soldiers as well. Only God knows, but Ed, you know, as we watch scientific movies or these science fiction movies, uh, we're finding out today that in reality, nothing is scientific or, or uh, excuse me, science fiction anymore because they're doing everything that we're seeing in the movies. But in any way, this is just another example of what uh, this generation is doing, showing again that our generation, and again, because of the uh, applications of computers and supercomputers, uh, this generation has a, uh, excelled more so than any generation since the creation of man. Now, that brings me to another uh, section here, and we're going to deal again with prophecy, and I'm going to combine these two scriptures. It says this, prophecies in the New Testament. It says, and... Great earthquakes shall be in various places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights. And this is the one I want to home in on. Great signs there shall be from heaven. All right, so keep that in mind. And then in Luke 21, 11, 25, it says, Watch for the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. <clears throat> Again, showing us that we should be looking up to watch out for signs in the heavens and all these different things that are going to be taking place in the sky. But... 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11, there's a warning. It says, For, their, for this reason God sends, a, sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie. And we know that in the near future, God is going to allow something to happen that this delusion, this very strong delusion, is going to mislead millions of people, people all over the world. And those people who will be falling for this strong delusion are those that do not know Jesus Christ and haven't received him as their personal Savior. Now, I'm going to now connect the, and link what Daniel 12.4 said about the last generation becoming the increased knowledge generation because we have technology that allows uh, signs in the sky to be projected by holograms with this new scientific technology to be able to put figures in the sky. Now, a lot of you have read articles about Project Blue Beam, and I don't discuss this too much because I don't get involved too much into uh, government conspiracy theories and whatnot because I know that there's more than enough proof in the Bible that shows us that the scriptures are coming to pass, so I don't need to go into computer the uh, conspiracy theory, but I do know that the technology is available, and I've shown you many, many places on my site where they have uh, demonstrated this technology of uh, putting figures into the sky that look real. Now, I received an email to one of my brothers in the Lord today, and on my post, uh, when you go to my website, I'm going to give you a link and instructions how you can see this picture. So you'll have to go to the BibleProphecyMan.com uh, to see this. But uh, in, this, in this photo, there is an image. When you first take a look at it, it looks like this would be the Virgin Mary, and there's a black figure right next door to it. And my first impression when I saw that was people are going to think that this is uh, the Virgin Mary, or Jesus' mother, and Jesus Christ. But I, I know uh, that there is going to be a strong delusion, and there, are, there is that possibility that there may be governments who would use technology like this to alter the consciousness of people, thinking that, yes, these things are true, and we don't really need to look for Jesus Christ, because we're seeing them in the sky, and this would be a prime example, or a good example, of strong delusion. So, we're seeing more of these 
figures showing up all over the world. And I don't believe that it's by any means a coincidence. I believe that somebody may be setting us up for this strong delusion that the Lord will allow to take place. It's just something to think about. Uh, but it does, in fact, show that there is the technology to be able to put uh, figures into the sky and make them appear to be real. And uh, if you do your own Google search, you'll be able to find uh, the technology and uh, you'll see videos of uh, figures in the sky. It's very fascinating. But again, it all points to the... Uh, this last days, signs in the sky, and uh, as well as the last generation being the increased knowledge generation.